what is a base map and how to use one on today's Tech Tuesday. On today's Tech Tuesday, we're gonna be talking about base maps, what to expect and when to use one. When you go online with a Haltech engine management system for the first time, it'll have a default map. This means that all the tuning maps, the settings and the functions are initialized and have a general sort of value which give the tuner a good idea of what each value should be, as well as the rough shape that each map should have. This default map alone certainly helps to get things rolling because each default value is a general guide and uh, it's kind of what's to be expected for the input value. It'd be much, much harder if all the values in the ECU were all set to zero and a hell of a lot more typing. If you are working on a unique or a one-off experimental engine, you'd be best off working from a default map. But if you've got an engine that's a little bit more common, odds are we've probably got a base map to suit. Base map, as the name suggests, is a base to start working from that'll help to get your engine up and running as quickly and as easily as possible. A base map has as much information entered as possible, leaving only the settings unique to your setup left to add in. For example, let's look at a base map for a Nissan R33 GDR. The main setup is filled in with the engine capacity, number of cylinders and the firing order, while the trigger system information is all filled in to suit the factory Nissan crank angle sensor. This is information that would be impossible for us to put into a default map because we never know what kind of engine the ECU is going to go on. Next up, take a look at the ignition and injection settings. The number of coils and injectors will already be set up, but there's still things to check. If you've got a stock ignition system, the base map settings will be fine. But if you've got an upgraded ignition system, make sure the coil settings and the coil charge times are adjusted to suit your system. Likewise, injectors are commonly upgraded to flow more fuel, and as such, we require the new injector characteristics to be entered before starting the engine. Lastly, the functions page with all the inputs and outputs is set up, but you need to check the inputs and outputs you've used in your car against the inputs and outputs configured in the base map. If a base map is available for your car, it'd be a good idea to open it and have a look at the input output assignments before you start wiring. That way, you won't have to adjust too much of the base map to suit your wiring. Remember to assign any extra sensors that you've added. Oil and fuel pressure sensors, temperature sensors, and wideband oxygen sensors are common ones that aren't typically set up in a base map because we don't know what inputs they'd be wired to. Once you've checked over the main setup and input output functions, you can then have a look through the fuel and ignition tuning tables. A base map will have table axes and values set up to suit your specific engine, but they'll be tamed down and on the safe side. Which brings me to, what can I expect from a base map? Well, you can expect a base map to get your engine up and running, to be able to check for fluid leaks, to bleed the cooling system, and to move it around the workshop. Now, before putting your engine under serious load, it's best to get the tuner to take a look over everything and get the thing on the dyno. Tune it and make sure you're getting the most power out of your pride and joy with as much reliability as possible. If you wanna have a look through any of our base maps, download the Haltech ESP software straight off our website, it's free, install it, and then have a look on your Windows PC under your My Documents folder. There'll be a Haltech folder in there full of base maps that you can peruse at your leisure. See you next week.